thank you so much for your time and for this interview. To tell you the truth is that in Glamour, uh, we published an article about you and it was really well received. Our audience is really uh, amazed by your work. And now we are talking about music with you. So it's really great. So after a successful album, now we have a new single. So how was it to work on it? Were you nervous to release something new? Um, how was the process? Oh, actually, no, I wasn't. I, I wasn't nervous to release the new the new single. I was very excited uh, because after one year, I didn't release anything uh, because of because of COVID. I I was just very very excited to put in the market a new song. Perfect. And well, with the release of the new single, I imagine there is a new album. Can you tell us a little bit what can we expect? The new sounds that you're going to use. Um, I mean, at least if you can say so. But um, can you tell us a little bit about it? Of course, I mean it's gonna be like comparing the new album to Darkroom is gonna be uh, more mature because I've you know I've worked a lot on the music during this year. More mature, more confident. Uh, even the lyric, even the lyrics are gonna be more you know they're gonna tell even more stories you know. So yeah, it's it's a step that I took to go to go on to go further. And I'm so happy for it. Perfect. And what would you say are your biggest influences uh, when you're making music? Do you uh, listen to something to inspire yourself uh, uh, from, I don't know, early albums from your favorite artists? What were your biggest influences? Well, I, uh, to, to be honest, like the biggest influence that I have is the music itself. I really don't have artist that, that inspires me i have artists that i like that i appreciate that i that i listen but i don't i, I always try to be myself and to be original to build to build my own way to to listen and make music you know yes of course and well after making your first album did you learn any a uh, big lesson in that process that you will apply for the next album or do you think that you just go with the flow no, 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 I just go with the flow. I mean, I, I, heart and music, it's something so, I mean, you, you cannot predict anything, right? Because maybe I wake up in the morning thinking about the rhythm, but then I go in the studio, I, I hear something else and I get inspired by something else. So, I mean, no. Great. And well, as an audience, it's always this uh, desire to listen to more and more and more music. And I understand that um, artists, well, it's not like you're just baking a cake or something to make an album, to make a song. It can be a really, uh, really hard process. So for you, what's the most difficult part about making new music, about uh, getting to this creative process to get to a single and then an album? That's a nice question. Uh find the right words, the right lyrics. And uh, to be honest, uh, the most difficult thing for me is not sounds with words. I mean, talking about lyrics, not sounds uh, annoying or, or what can I say, cliche, you know, mm -hmm. just always trying to be original with my lyrics. But also if, if the song uh, has a good rhythm, uh, for example, a disco rhythm or a hip hop style, you, you cannot say something deep, you know. Mm -hmm. So you just want you just want to make the people have chill and may have fun. And you, of course, when you want to make someone have fun, you cannot talk about deeply things, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And well, um, I know that uh, writing a song, making a song, it's a really, uh, really hard process. Uh, so for you, how do you know when a song is ready? Uh, oh, <laughs> when, uh, when a song is ready, I mean, straight away. I mean, as soon as I finish recording, I, I know that, for example, lyrics are in the right place. Or sometimes I feel that something is missing in the music. Uh, the first time that I hear the song, I understand if it's ready or not. Incredible. And how has it how has it been to find your own voice, find your style? I mean, how did you know that you wanted to use all that sounds and rhythms uh, in your in your music? 
because I'm a fan of the music in general. I'm not a fan only of, of, for example, I'm not a fan only of rock music, hip hop, jazz or pop. I'm a fan of everything. Mm. I like everything. I love, for example, classical music. So there's a lot of classic music in my songs. Uh, you know, that, that, that's the main reason. I'm a fan of music. That's why I have everything inside. Great. And well, I think I, that makes me feel more free to do, to do whatever I like in music and not feel like I have to do a genre. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel more free, yeah. Perfect. And well, I, I personally love the rhythm and sounds that you use in your music. They are like really, I don't know, it's really great. It's really amazing. Would you like to experiment with something, uh, with new sounds, new rhythms in the future, new music genres? I mean, yeah. I've always wanted to leave my open, like my door open to, you know, to, to new genres. Why not? I mean. Incredible. And well, I know that uh, during these years, uh, it has been really hard uh, for some artists, you know, about the concerts and everything, but yeah. we have listened to new music, new releases. It's really amazing. So for yeah. you, how is it uh, to release new music during these really strange days, but at the end of the day, we are really happy to listen to new songs. I mean, it's, it's, it's a kind of also beautiful thing because music always help people to feel more close to each other, right? Mm -hmm. So although we are, we are in a pandemic situation, music always, you know, uh, make us more close to each other. So it's okay. I mean, it's okay. It's totally fine. There's, there, it's, always time to release new, new music. Yes, perfect. And would you say that music was the most prepared artistic discipline during these hard days? Because I mean, movies and films have been stopped or it's really hard to continue the productions, but music, music has been on point with new music, new songs, new releases and everything. So would you say music was the most prepared for this kind of situation? Absolutely, yeah, because music, for example, helped a lot of people during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. So whenever people, they feel stressed or depressed, I mean, a good song can help a, per a person, you know, to just by listening the lyrics, you know, or just by listening to music can help the people. There's something called uh, music therapy. Mm -hmm. And it's a kind of therapy that helps people to, you know, to survive, let's say, let's use this word, uh, or uh, kill their own depression. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, uh, when I whenever I feel depressed or when I feel stressed or down, music always helped me. Yes, totally, totally. It's the best medicine. <laughs> and well, what things, I mean, this is like the classical uh, question for artists, but what things inspire you to make more music? I mean, as I said before, music itself, every time I feel there's a new rhythm inside my head, mm. I always feel I want to release it. I want, I feel like I want to do more. And actually there's some times that I work on two or three songs in the same time. You dedicate your life uh, to music and acting. Would you say that there is a common lesson that you've learned from both of them that has helped you in your career? Lesson from music is that the lesson that I've, I've learned the most from music is that with the music, I'm, I'm, I am able to be myself. With cinema, I can be someone else. I can study mm. different kind of psychology of persons or people, right? And this is the biggest lesson that these two beautiful art teach me. Incredible. And with, your, with the art that you make, uh, what is the message that you would want to, to send to the world? I mean, now that you're seeing and listening worldwide. I have an, a message to send to the world. Mm -hmm. Because I just have, I just make music to make people happy and to make myself happy and to feel, to feel more strong every day. But I don't have a specific message to send people. I mean, I, I'm not in the position that I can tell someone like my message. My message is through my music, is mm -hmm. through my stories. For example, Beautiful that talks about love, my point of view you know, about love or dad that talks about my dad. It's just small stories that I, 
that I tell the people, but it's like my opinion. It's not a story. It's not a message. It's my opinion. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. And well, um, as I said, uh, in Glamour, uh, our audience really loved your, your work, your music, uh, mm -hmm. your movies and everything. But uh, uh, I think that some of our audiences uh, are being introduced to you, I mean, for the first time. So what's the thing that everybody should know about you? That I'm not only a beautiful face, mm -hmm. that I have something to tell the world through my music, through my acting, and through my paints. Mm. Oh, you paint? Yeah. yeah, it's one of my biggest hobbies. Actually, I just finished to paint something. You see, look at it. With my hands. They're oh all dirty God. colors. That's really amazing. So truly art is within you, right? I mean, you have that, like this really artistic vein in you. Would you say I mean, that? yeah. I mean, uh, paint, painting helps me really to re take out all of my stress. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, sometimes, you know, people, they just stop and look at something, you know, beautiful and they think that that's it. But I think that we should, you know, as my first album say, dark room, we should always go deep inside the things and find the true dark room of the people. Mm -hmm. And that was is what's really matter about it, because you can be beautiful for 15 minutes but after a while if you're if you don't have a point of view you just stay beautiful i know perfect and well um as i said glamour here is uh, read in latin america in mexico chile argentina a lot of places so how do you feel knowing that by the way i, I like your your skull behind you oh like really cool decoration for a glamour girl <laughs> yeah, it's i know cool. Cool. Thank Bye. you. So, <laughs> thank you. How do you feel that now that you are uh, listened and seen worldwide? I mean, Latin America, United States, Europe. So, how do you feel with that? I feel. I, I mean, I feel great till the point that sometimes I don't really believe that this is actually happening. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel so so good, and it's kind of incredible because. I've started making music when I was uh, 28 mm -hmm. in 2018, but just for fun, just, just like this, you know, just, you know, I just make a music and today being worldwide artists, it's kind of, wow, what happened, you know? I know. Perfect. And well, for my last question, um, Do you, do you have any message for the Latin American audience? I think that your music is really, really great. And I think it really, uh, it's amazing for our audience, like, you know, the general and everything. It's amazing. Yeah. So do you have any message for the audience? What is your favorite song of mine? Mm, right now, I just listened to Beautiful and I think it has, it was really, really amazing. But I think the whole Dark Room was really like sets the mood if I want to be more specific about it yeah okay amazing okay my message for all the people okay let's try to make it in Spain okay oh gracias uh, no you, you you talk Spanish right You're right yes so sí. gracias, gracias por todos los af af afectos eh, por todos los mensajes que Uh, tú me enviaste trámite los Instagram yo <laughs> yo te quiero mucho perfect perfecto <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't that perfect but I tried it at least <laughs> well thank you so much for this interview thank you so much for your time and also congratulations thank you so, on much. so happy Women's Day and good luck with your career okay thank you so much thank you thank you thank you <laughs>